The doctor says I have amnesia. Oh, my poor dear. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. You guys wanted another episode story? I wanted another episode story? So today, we've got one. Let's play pretend. It feels like I've been asleep for a long time. My limbs feel stiff. My brain feels foggy. I'm trying to remember. Hmm, wait. I can't remember what I look like. Hmm. Ooh, I get to customize my character. Okay, let's make her look like me. Okay, we're in the doctors. And there I am. Ah, you're finally awake. Hello there. I'm Dr. Ben. I've been waiting a very long time for you to wake up. How do you feel? I feel strange. Like I died and came back to life. That's understandable. You've been in a coma for a long time. What? For how long? I'd say about six months. Half a year? Seriously? What happened to me? You were in an accident and suffered trauma to your head. Is that why I can't remember anything? You have had difficulty remembering, hmm? Those are symptoms of amnesia. What kind of accident was I in? Before I explain everything, I need you to answer some questions. I just need you to know the severity of your memory loss. So first things first, do you remember your name? Um, yes, we remember our name. Our name is Yami. My name is Yami. Very good. Now Yami, I'm going to ask you some basic questions just to test your memory. Is that all right? I guess. Great. First question, what are the names of your parents? Um, I have no idea. I have parents. Oh, dot, dot, dot. Okay, let's do the bottom one because we do have parents, but I don't know. Hmm. Um, Yami, if you don't know the answer. I don't. Sorry. That's quite all right, Yami. Let's just move on to the next question. Question two. How old are you? I am pretty sure I'm 16. Yes, you were 16 six months ago. Your birthday passed and you're 17 now, Yami. Oh. I already forgot how much time has passed. I'm sorry. Can you answer some of my questions now? I'm still so confused. Very well. What would you like to know? What's the date today? Where am I? Oh, where are my parents? Yeah, where are my parents? <laughs> Do my parents live around here? Yes, they visit you every Sunday afternoon. In fact, they should be arriving shortly. From what they have told me, you are their only child. Would you like to ask anything else? Yes, we want to know everything. Um... Where am I? A hospital. That's not what I meant. I know, I'm just kidding. You're actually in Alberta, Canada. We're in a small town named Wakefield. According to your parents, you've lived here your whole life. Would you like to ask anything else? Yeah, we do. Okay, last question. What is the date today? Sunday, October 8th. 2017. Oh boy, we've gone back in time. Okay, we're done asking all of the questions. Now then, moving on. I have another question for you. This might be difficult for you to answer, but I need to know. What's the last thing you remember? The last thing I remember? Nothing. I already told him that. And I was going to tell him that again. Until... Ooh, we're getting a flashback. Okay, this is us. Wait, what was that? It was only a brief flash, but it was something. A fragment of a memory. Or maybe just a dream. I couldn't tell the difference. Hmm, no. I was sure that was a memory. Um, Yami? Are you alright? Yeah, I just... Dr. Benson, I wanted to let you know that... Oh, I see that Miss Locke is awake. This is perfect timing. What's going on, Joyce? Miss Locke's parents have just arrived at the hospital. They wish to have their weekly visit with their daughter. Shall I send them in? Yes. Please do. Thank you, Joyce. They'll be in shortly. All right, Yami. Are you ready to meet your parents? Wait, you didn't even tell me how I ended up in the hospital. I think your parents will do a better job at explaining the accident than me. After all, they were there when it happened. Okay. Is it true? My baby is finally awake. Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Locke. She's right here. I'll give you some time alone with your parents. She's all yours. Yummy. Our baby girl. Oh boy. These people are really my parents? Yummy, sweetheart. I'm so happy to see you awake. We were so worried about you, darling. We thought you might never wake up. Um, so I guess you guys are my parents. <gasps> What? Of course we're your parents, Yami. It's me, Janice. And Robert, we're your adoptive parents. Adoptive? You don't remember us? No. Sorry. The doctor says I have amnesia. Oh, my poor dear. Will you at least allow us to give you a hug? Um, sure. Okay. They are my parents, right? <laughs> May as well. A little hug can't hurt, I hope. Um, the doctor filled me in on some things about my life, but he didn't tell me how I ended up in a coma. Can either of you guys tell me? You don't remember that either, huh? It was a horrible night for all of us. Six months ago, you went to a house party with Jason. 
Ethan and Chloe. Who's Jason, Ethan, and Chloe? Jason is your boyfriend, and Ethan and Chloe are your best friends. You, Ethan, and Chloe have been best friends since kindergarten. You and Jason started dating in the second year of high school. The accident happened at the house party. Yes, while you were at the party, you had a little too much to drink. Your friend said you were standing at the top of the staircase. At this point, it was getting late. It was way past your curfew. Your mother and I were getting worried, so we drove to the party to pick you up. When we arrived, we saw you stumbling around at the top of the staircase. Then, you tripped. Your mother and I watched as you fell head first down the stairs. I couldn't recall any of that. I racked my brain trying to remember, but I couldn't. The memories weren't there. Yummy. How about we take you home now? We can talk more there. Yeah, I'd like to get out of here. All right, let's go. We can let Dr. Benson know you've been discharged. I see Dr. Benson over there. Oh, she looks sad. Oh, she's gone. I don't remember discharging Miss Locke from the hospital. You didn't, but we are. I still need to run some tests on your daughter in case. There will be no need for that. She'll be fine. Let's go home now. Hey, I just wanted to tell you something before you leave. Okay. You need to be careful, Yami. Be careful of what? Just... Be careful, okay? Don't hesitate to come back here if you don't feel well. That was really weird. Yami, are you coming? Yes, yeah, sorry. So? Here I am, going home with my adoptive parents. I guess I should have been happy, but honestly, the whole situation was weird. These people didn't feel like my parents. They felt like strangers. You're going to like our house, Yami. Yes, we've got everything you could ever want or need. We've made some amazing memories there. I only wish you could remember them. Don't worry, dear. We'll make new memories with our daughter. Yes, I suppose we will. I'm looking forward to it. I kind of feel bad for them. But it's not my fault I can't remember anything. We're almost there now. Our house is just a little out of town. So Situated in a forest. It's beautiful there. I'm sure you'll love it, Yami. I'm sure. Well, here we are. Robert was right about one thing. Their house was located in the middle of a vast forest. The driveway was nearly hidden, and it took about two minutes to even reach the house. The only thing was, their house wasn't a house. It was an impressive mansion, and apparently, I live there. What do you think of the place, Yami? Uh, I like it. I really like it. It's amazing. I'm glad you like it. This is your home, after all. Perhaps your subconscious is reminding you that you belong here. I don't know about that. Now then, how about we go inside? Side. You must be desperate to get out of that hospital gown, Yami. Yeah, I am. I guess this really is my home. Staring at the house didn't trigger any feelings inside me. I was hoping it would. There was just nothing. Seeing my room might trigger a memory. Wow, this place is huge. Yami, you must be starving. Actually, I'm Robert. Why don't you show Yami around the house while I make her some lunch? Sounds good. I'll be your tour guide. I'll show you around the house that you've lived in for 17 years. Ahem. <laughs> Anyway, this is the main entryway, as you can see. It's very nice. It's also very boring. Let's check out the coolest room in the house first. The pool room. Do you have a pool room? Oh yes, and so much more. Follow me. Here we are. The pool is outside just through those doors. Pretty nice, right? It's awesome. I'm glad you think so. Moving on then. Here we have the living room. You tend to be in this room quite often. Oh, really? Yes, I usually find you curled up on the couch reading a book from the library. There's a library in this house too? There sure is. We'll go there next. Oh, wow, this house is impressive. How can I not remember this? Here we are. So, what do you think? I think it's totally awesome. So, it meets your standards. Definitely. You can come back here later if you'd like. For now, though, we'll check out the rest of the house. Here's the kitchen, and here's the dining room. And finally, um, this is your room, Yummy. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I expected to have something by now. Some kind of feeling or buried memory surfacing. But there was nothing. To say I was disappointed would be an understatement. Maybe my memory would never return. Maybe I would have to accept this situation for what it is and start my life over. I could do that, right? Are you okay, Yami? Yeah, I guess so. I think I just want to be alone for a while, though. I understand. I'll tell Janice to bring you your lunch later. Let me know if you need anything else, alright? I will. Thanks. I have such a perfect life here. With nice parents who love me and a huge house with beautiful property. So, then why do I feel like something is wrong? Come in. It's just me, dear. Oh, hey, Janice. Sorry to disturb you. Robert told me to leave you alone, but I just wanted to check up on you. How are you doing, darling? Uh, I'm okay. I'm fine. Are you sure about that? You don't look fine. I'm just having a hard time absorbing all of this. Oh, darling. Everything will be better in time. I promise. Oh, by the way, have you seen your walk-in closet yet? I have a walk-in closet. You certainly do. This house gets more awesome by the second. It's right behind you, actually. I laid out a bunch of different outfits for you to choose while you were with Robert. I wasn't sure if your style had changed or not. What did I usually wear? Pretty boring clothes, to be honest. Your style was 
pretty casual. Anyways, I'll leave you alone for you to get settled. I'll come back for you in a few hours to get you for your dinner. Alright, sounds good. Wait, Janice. Yes, Yami? I just wanted to say thank you. Anything for you, dear? Mwah. Time to get out of this awful gown. This is too cool. There's a lot of stuff to choose from. Oh my gosh, there is honestly so many outfits. Oh, wow. I'm gonna look through these and then choose my favorite one and get back to you guys because this is just, oh, holy moly. There's so many outfits. <laughs> I wonder what I should do now. Maybe I'll check out the library. Robert said I like to read. I definitely feel drawn to books. I guess I'll go there now then. Yes, I'm living for her outfit. It's so cute. Oddly enough, I could remember reading many novels throughout my life. I also remembered almost every story. I guess that meant my memory wasn't completely blank. This was the star. What do I feel like reading? Romance, mystery, or fantasy. We all love a good fantasy book. It's fun to read about creatures and places that people have conjured up. I kind of feel like I'm living in a fantasy world right now. Wait, there's something in between the pages. An envelope. Janice and Robert aren't around. I'll open it. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Locke, I have thought long and hard about your offer and decided to accept it. Although I find your experiment to be highly unethical, I could not pass up the opportunity to accept the large sum of money you are willing to pay me. I trust that you will stick to your word and compensate me after I finish my task. As a side note, I would also like to ask that you take good care of the girl. She may suffer a great deal of emotional trauma if she ever finds out the truth. Regards, Alexander Benson. <gasps> What the heck did I just read? Something about an experiment and a girl? And that letter was sent to my parents by someone named Alexander Benson? Would that be Dr. Benson? Were my parents bribing him with money? Oh man, this is insane. Yummy, it's time for dinner. <gasps> so guys, this is where today's episode ends. I hope you're enjoying this story so far. And if you want to see more, do make sure to leave a like so that I know you're enjoying it. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one. Ooh, I just like Miami, yeah, a hit deserves a Grammy You like it, so subscribe, let it take you for a ride Post a comment, you gon' see that purple hair go side to side Watch it go side to side And don't forget she got that merch to buy